Hello there and welcome back to Money Chakra Secrets. In the last chapter, we examined the root chakra. Today, we're going to look into the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is located slightly below the navel, exactly four fingers down from our belly button. Its color is orange. This chakra corresponds to our emotional and sexual desires as well as our ego and creativity. When the sacral chakra is balanced, your feelings flow freely and you're not over-emotional in expressing them. You're open to intimacy and you are passionate. You are full of life and people love being around you as you bring very positive energy. Most important, you do not have any problems in expressing your sexuality. However, if your sacral chakra is inactive, it's hard for you to enjoy, live in the moment, and appreciate life. You tend to be stiff and unemotional and you always have your guard up. For example, when someone throws you a surprise birthday party, you'd feel indifferent or not know how to react. Ideally, you should be happy and thankful for the thoughts of others of you. Instead, it's hard for you to receive and open up. If your chakra is hyperactive, you tend to be overly emotional and overreact to even the most trivial things. People do not usually like to be around you as you are very unpredictable and can explode at any given time. If you have an overly active root chakra and a sacral chakra, you will find it extremely hard to accept rejection. You become too overly attached to other people, especially when it comes to romantic relationships. For instance, when your boyfriend or girlfriend chooses to break up with you, there is a high chance of you're trying to injure yourself or do something that will cause you harm. You think irrationally or you may not think at all when proceeding with a certain decision. Do you get sad or angry at the notion of money? Or are creative ideas hard to come by? Here's where we process our emotions around money so an inactive sacral chakra will result in negative emotions regarding money. A blockage right here also blocks the flow of creativity. Since creativity plays a major role in the manifestation of money, this becomes a hindrance. When the sacral chakra is balanced, you'll naturally be able to seek out the opportunities available in the world around you. Since your flow of creativity is unrestrained, this will mean more money. Not only that, money will no longer trigger negative emotions in you. So how do we overcome this imbalance? Here are the ways you can. Go shake those hips. Latin or African dances or any other movement that involves shaking your hips are a great way to activate this chakra. Try out more water-related activities. Relaxing near or wading in open water sources such as rivers or the ocean is a good activity. Taking a warm, relaxing bath or even listening to sounds of flowing water can help. Also try drinking a lot of water and eating more orange-colored foods such as oranges, cinnamon, and papaya. Make your life more orange. It can be your clothing or the items you own. Like all other chakras, meditation is a practice that helps greatly, which is why you should incorporate it in your daily life routine. 1. Visualize an orange lotus or crescent moon at the area of the sacral chakra, slightly below the navel. 2. Breathe deeply while keeping the image in your mind for a few minutes. Hi there, welcome back again. Last chapter we explored the sacral chakra and its financial implications. Today, however, we will look into the solar plexus chakra. This chakra is located at the center of the body, at the same level with our stomach. This is where the physical energy is distributed. It is represented by the color yellow and has a higher vibrating frequency than the sacral chakra. The solar plexus chakra corresponds to your feelings when you are with groups of people. It's responsible for the development of relationships of all kinds, such as romantic relationships, friendships, and family. This chakra also represents your individuality, self-esteem, and how you stand up for what you believe in in the presence of others. It's the center for unrefined emotions as well as personal power. This here is where we develop a sense of self and outward sense of others. An inactive solar plexus chakra will cause you to have very low self-esteem. You find it hard to acknowledge your own self-worth. You feel useless and powerless, especially when you are under pressure. This ends up with you saying yes to things you do not believe in. Let's say you're assigned a project with your colleague. For the project, you come up with all the ideas and did most of the work. Your boss asks who came up with the concept and your colleague takes all the credit. 
You really want to speak up and tell the truth, but you don't know how. You're afraid of conflict, so you just keep quiet. So your boss offers your partner a promotion and you end up missing a golden opportunity. You then feel depressed and disappointed and this incident adds on to your feeling of unworthiness and the cycle just continues. On the other hand, if your solar plexus chakra is overreactive, then you become a very dominating person and would want to control everything. Your personality can be likened to that of a dictator. In the workplace, you'll be perceived as a very stubborn and controlling leader. It's highly likely that your subordinates will feel pressured and stressed when working under your supervision. Do you find that you have to put in an extra amount of effort and hard work in order to earn money? Or do you have low self-esteem and lack the drive to get what you want? Your solar plexus chakra may be blocked or imbalanced. A blockage or imbalance in this particular chakra will manifest in the form of low self-confidence, which is crucial when it comes to making decisions taking advantage of opportunities, and also making money. You'll also find that it's hard to save money. When this particular energy center is balanced, your finances will improve and you'll become a money magnet as you attract customers as well as close deals in your business if you own one. Not only that, you feel more confident. You possess the willpower and drive to take action and make decisions. You'll have the ability to manifest what you want, and this includes money. So now that we've brought you through the solar plexus chakra and its potential effects on your money, you may have realized that you do have imbalance or blockage issues that you need to address. These steps will help you restore balance to your chakra. Go on out and soak in the sun's rays. It's good for you since the solar plexus chakra is represented by fire. It's only logical that being in the sun has tremendous chakra healing powers. Go outdoors in the afternoon sun. Let go of the victim mentality. It helps knowing that you're not powerless. It takes a lot of energy to play the victim and maintain that facade. Explore what it feels like to say no and step up to claim responsibility and power over your life. Let go of the unhealthy attachments you have. Unhealthy attachments are a cause for chakra blockage and energy stagnation. Ask yourself if a certain object, belief, memory, desire, is doing yourself any good and acknowledge it is. Then let go, take care of yourself. Change up your regular routine and start trying new things. An example of change in routine would be waking up a little earlier in the morning to exercise before heading to work. Sticking to safe routines will only sustain feelings of powerlessness within you. By stepping up your routine, you will not rely so much in your natural source of confidence and the energy of self-belief but instead be forced to get out there and be yourself and also focus on action, which will help you grow your confidence. Cut off people who criticize and belittle you from your life. Instead, only surround yourself with people who will support you and help you grow. Also know that you have the power within you. It's up to you to decide on the people who will stay or leave in your life. Take care of yourself every single day, psychologically as well as physically. Identify and address areas in your physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual health that you've been neglecting. A healthy level of self-esteem is essential for a balanced solar plexus chakra. So take care of yourself. It's a form of self-respect and self-love. Lighten up. Laugh at yourself. The greatest source of strength and power within all of us out there is being able to find humor in the most unlikely moments in life, especially during our darkest and lowest moments. Freedom is found in finding humor in life. Don't take life so seriously. You'll only disconnect yourself from your source of power. 4. The food you eat. Complex carbohydrates like whole grains such as rice are good to balance out the solar plexus chakra. They provide a sustained supply of energy. Spices such as turmeric and ginger are also good energy sources. They provide a heating element to your body. Not only that, naturally yellow foods such as bananas, corn, and pineapples are great. 5. Surround yourself in yellow. Wear yellow clothing. Keep yellow decorations around the house. These practices will help you with your chakra. 6. Meditation. Focus on the area where your solar plexus chakra resides, the upper abdomen, and visualize a glowing yellow sphere. Slowly concentrate on making it bigger while it rotates. That area will feel warmer and more relaxed. Do these for a few minutes, then let the energy dissipate and take a few breaths, after which you should open your eyes.
To walk through the fourth chakra called heart chakra, click on the description box.